in this lecture we will try to learn about concept of limits okay so limits is one of the most important thing in calculus and here we will first try to understand what does limit mean okay so let's see if we have let's say a function okay so if we have a function like f of x is equal to x square okay so most of you will be knowing that if we plot this function okay so this is the x axis this is the y axis so this function so y is equal to x square so we have 1 2 3 4 5 something like this so this will come out to be this is y is equal to x square this is the graph okay so now what it says that limit okay so limit x tends to 0 f of x okay so what it means here it means that okay so we are so this is 0 we are coming closer and closer to 0 okay so we can approach 0 from this side from the left hand side we can approach 0 from the right hand side okay so limit x square x tends to 0 it means that basically if we are making our x come very close to 0 but not exactly 0 then what is the value of f of x tending to okay so that's what it means so from negative side so if we are going from the negative side okay 0 minus means I am going from this left hand side to 0 so x square it means I am coming to x is equal to minus 0.1 then I am going further minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.001 I make x minus 0 0.0001 and for all these values I try to find f of x okay so for this f of x is so this is 10 to the power of minus 1 so x square will be 10 to the power of minus 2 for this it will be 10 to the power of minus 4 10 to the power of minus 6 minus 10 to the power of minus 8 okay so we see that okay this value is now f of x is minus 0 0.0000001 for x is equal to minus 0 0.0001 okay in fact it will be all will be plus because it's x square so we see that okay it's approaching a very small value similarly if we try out okay so if we try out for pos from positive side that is limit x tends to 0 plus it means now I will be coming from this side so let's say 1.1.01 1 1 something like this so now x will be becoming 0 0.1.01.001.0001 0, 0, 0, 1. so for all these values so now it is 10 to the power of minus 2 10 to the power of minus 4 10 to the power of minus 6 so it's now again we see that f of x is also becoming very close to 0 so in that case we say that okay limit f of x as x tends to 0 is equal to 0 because we see that okay as we are approaching towards x then f of x is also approaching towards x so this is the meaning of f of limit of a function so we will see with few more examples okay so the next example that we will take is let's say f of x 
is equal to x plus 2 x is not equal to 1 and is equal to 0 if x is equal to 1 okay so this is the function so we will try to now plot this function so y is equal to x plus 2 so we now know that okay when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 so x is 0 y is 2 so 0 comma 2 is on this line and then y is 0 then x is equal to minus 2 so this is the line okay so this is y is equal to x plus 2 and now what we see but at x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 this function value is 0 and hence at x is equal to 1 it has a it is not this value which is 3 but it is 0 okay so now we want to find the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 okay so what will be the value so we will start with what we will have in a region x minus 1 is less than delta so we will look in a region x minus 1 is less than some value delta positive value so if we see in this region so 1 greater than 1 and less than 1 by some positive constant delta so what how is the value varying there okay so by this one it is varying in this is the height it is varying okay so this is the height it is varying so now what we need to find that okay as we saw so what happens so we now see that okay so when limit f of x x tends to 1 from negative side so we are coming towards 1 from this side so it will be something like 0 0.9 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.95 0 0.99 0 0.999 so we are taking x like this from left we are approaching 1 so these are the values and then we plot fx so we will see that okay value is coming closer towards this uh, and the value is which is 3 so it is coming closer to this 3 and from the positive side also so limit f of x x tends to 1 from positive side so if we have from here so x is 1.1 1.05 1.01 1.001 so we again approach and we will find that f of x is coming closer to 3 okay but if we see that okay f of 1 is actually 0 okay but then also when we are coming closer towards 1 from positive from this side then also its value is becoming closer to 3 and if we are moving from the negative side also it's becoming equal to 3 hence we say that okay limit f of x x tends to 3 is equal to x tends to 1 is equal to 3 even though f of 1 is equal to 0 so it means that we want to find the expected value how it is tending to what value fx when we are x is approaching the value x naught or 1 here so this was about example of limit